ladies and gentlemen there's only three things that i know to be real in this world death taxes and dlc teasers are oh so sweet ladies and gentlemen boys and girls we have our first actual teaser for map number one dlc number one treyarch has tweeted this bad boy out project in station was only the beginning and we have this image that is attached obviously uh hunter <laughs> wake up noah mia we can finally get that fireboat tutorial R ricked off it <laughs> <laughs> we got we got all kinds of references you guys are absolutely crazy in the comment section uh m samantha maxis maxis samantha maxis this is the place that i spoke of omega outpost 25 omega portal chamber this is where the portal is maintained in the dark ether now i've seen people i've seen people already saying that this is duris remastered because there's some sort of teleportation portal area right here stop it's not it's not Duris remastered. I actually truly think that this is a brand new map. I've been looking at it. I've been comparing to old maps, everything like that. This truly looks like a brand new map. And at that, a not very big map. Obviously, uh, kind of like uh, the D machine has an upstairs, a downstairs. It's kind of like basically split into two, uh, above ground and below ground. And this might be following a similar pattern because the map itself doesn't actually look super, super huge. It looks like smaller than ascension mate kind of like the giant and just in terms of actual sheer size which is really really interesting but obviously there could be a lot more that goes on underneath the surface obviously this is kind of like the, the 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 super bad experiments that were happening during the wars and everything like that this is uh a new era for zombies if you will in terms of storyline so i i'm assuming we're gonna be seeing a lot more bunkers a lot more things like that hopefully 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 uh i really really like the ether portal system taking us into the dark ether i want to see them expanding farther on the actual dark ether part of this rather than focusing so so much on the real life war stuff i mean we, we we've seen that already in zombies it's kind of old news it's the classic oh they were they literally made a movie about it what was that movie called they literally made a movie about it where it was literally just like they're trying to make zombies to I, I, let me know in the comments if you remember what the name of that effing movie was it was literally like world war ii zombies the movie and this is very similar to that so anyway the the map itself i'm hoping they do a lot with the dark ether portal and uh this very important thing down here more soon are rick toffin i'm not kidding i'm not kidding the, there's a possibility there's an actual possibility that this could be Rick Toffin. So if you think about it, Samantha Maxis is Samantha M for Samantha Maxis. They're calling it by their first initial of their last name. Edward Rick Toffin exists in this universe. Uh, Takio, Dempsey, Nikolai, all of them don't exist, but child Rick Toffin, the, the pure Rick Toffin, uh, Eddie, if you will, actually exists in this universe. And it's an actual possibility that he does exist in this uh in this universe and this could be him i don't want to say i don't want to freak out and say like it's rucked off in 100 percent anything like that but that is honestly the thing that makes the most sense so, uh, samantha maxis is kind of like the forefront uh, uh like weaver is like kind of the commander type person but he's not really like the intel runner like samantha is and this is what seems like one intel runner to another rucked off in. in addition to this uh i haven't touched on this yet because of bad memories but as you can see right here, checks calendar. Oh, hey. Oh, sorry. This is the wrong thing. Here it is. RIP 2020, hell of a year 2021 with Tombstone Soda is, is just, it's a can. It's a perk can. Is it coming to the next map or is it just a meme? I literally don't know. But all I can say is if they add this to Call of Duty, Cold War Zombies, I am turning the music off permanently so I never have to hear, hear the Tombstone song ever again in my entire life i absolutely i can't stress it enough that being said we also have some exciting news in that uh oh hey 115 days next week which is like one slash one five so basically january 15th which is in three days it's very very soon three days see you soon zombie fans and yes we'll have more zombies good to talk about in addition to cranked which also goes live next week so maybe this is the day for the trailer maybe this is the day for the more teasers maybe it's a day to talk about things that are coming to zombies aside from cranked in terms of just like different ways to play i think 
I, I, I really love Cold War Zombies. I think the biggest kind of like problem with it right now is the lack of either competitive game modes like versus other players and stuff like that or be just more maps i think that the actual bare bones of cold war is so much better it's light years better than black ops 4 it's so much more fun to play there just needs to be more content more things to do to keep the game moving and maybe new game modes new maps stuff like that now uh i i said at the beginning of this video there's three things that i know in this world and this is very important by the way there are three things that i knew in the beginning of this video death taxes and zombie caesars are a good thing but the there's actually a fourth thing that i know in the history of the universe there's a fourth thing that i know and ladies and gentlemen boys and girls that is the apothecant servant was upgradable in shadows of evil i bet you weren't expecting this in a dlc one no effort we're going back to black ops 3 original apothecant servant upgrade quest discovered a pre-release build of black ops 3 zombies i did it you guys laughed at me but it existed it effing existed and they patched it out Ladies and gentlemen, check this out. Check this, check this crap out. Friday, November 6th, uh, 2050. Okay, blah, blah, blah. The upgrade quest. Crowd trackers obtain a work in progress build from Black Ops 3 Monday, April 13th at 2015. 200 saves, 207 days before the title's release. This is, so basically, they got an early build of the game sent to them and they picked it apart and found the Apothecan Servant and actual upgrade steps to the Apothecan Servant. I effing... I effing knew it. So basically, you got the Apothecan Servant in the exact same way. It, it was the exact same way. The the names are given to the player that you're playing with. Kill requirement. To begin the up... This is the actual steps to the Apothecan Servant upgrade quest that I hunted for for months back in the day in Black Ops 3. To begin the upgrade quest, the player must kill 40 zombies using the Apothecan Servant. For quality of life and balance purposes, kill progress continues to increment regardless of whether or not the player loses or swaps the Apothecan Servant. Upon reaching 30 kills, an audio cue will play to indicate the kill, requ kill requirement is nearing completion. Once the kill requirement has been met, the Apothecan Servant will act as a proximity sister which rumbles the controller and shakes the screen to the player as the player gets closer to any 2 of 15 randomized locations. The rate at which the proximity uh, sensor pulses is increased. At the distance of 25 meters, this set the race of 1 per second. At approximately 1.75 meters, uh, pulses are set to an max rate of 4 times per second. According to the code comments found throughout the function, the developers describe this process of metal detector style gameplay so they had you know the thing they used in revelations to find kind of like the eggs and stuff like not the eggs but the like berry places to actually get the assembles and everything they had that originally for the apothecan servant upgrade i effing knew it man once the player reaches the de desired location it will, a prompt will appear that says hold button to hang a cocoon interact with this prompt to place the apothecan servant at the location and in the proximity sensor progress the effing cocoons they were real I told you guys, I told you guys, do you see it right here? These are the images of the cocoons. They're literally real. I F, I knew it. I knew it. Open the cocoon. Once the cocoon is hung, the first player must, uh, the players first progress to the next round. Then return to the cocoon. A new prompt will appear, which says hold button to open the cocoon. Interact with this prompt to reveal the uh, upgraded Apothecan servant. You see the cocoon. That's what it looked like. It was real. It was real. Equip the upgraded Apothecan Servant. You can hold it to take the upgraded Apothecan Servant. Each player in the match must complete this to quest to obtain the, obtain the Apothecan Servant for himself. Uh, one player cannot repeat it four times, and then you get the upgraded ones. I, I, I don't even. I, I don't even. I, I literally told you guys, and no one believed me. All they did is at the last second they patched it out of the game, and that, and that's. It. I effing knew it. Anyway, sorry, little little bit of a tangent there. Had to had to roll on to something uh, that was very very important to me. I figured a DLC one video would be a good place to do it because why not? Uh, but yeah, this is it. DLC one, our first look at the map, uh, our kind of overlook. I, again, there's not much to talk about here because the picture is so low quality. It does look like there's some sort of palm trees kind of around here, like in this area, or maybe that's just literally nothing at all i don't know it's hard to tell the picture is so low quality uh because it's obviously meant to be like the 80s so it is what it is ladies and gentlemen boys and girls let me know your thoughts on dlc one so far what do you think are you excited are you hyped uh do you need to see more teasers etc what are your thoughts and tell me the name of that F that zombie movie man i can't remember it it was literally world war ii zombies but in a movie it wasn't that great. It, we actually thought it was pretty terrible. I saw it with the zombies lads. Anyway, we'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll obviously keep y'all updated on any more news, updates, anything like that that starts happening. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a like if you haven't already. And we'll see y'all in the next one.